Hello, bonjour. It's uh, Saturday and uh, we are in Laval. Um, I'm just in the car waiting for Duncan to come out of the DIY shop, just for a change. He's had to get some cable for work and we are going after that to find somewhere to eat because I'm absolutely starving. And then we will be going to find the chateau. Now we've been to Laval to find the chateau before and we couldn't find it. Now how can we not find a chateau? It's not like it's a small building, is it? Um, but we're going to use the map this time and we're going to obviously go and see that and try and film a bit of that for you. After that, we're going to try and find that we've seen there's a, some sort of art gallery here that we didn't really sort of know about. So we're going to uh, go there. I'm not so sure that I'll be able to film in there, but because um, these sort of places don't always like you to film. So I, I'm either going to be showing you what it's like in there or I will tell you when we come out. Um, not that's a lot of good to you, is it? Because you really would rather see it, wouldn't you? But uh, even so, and maybe a bit of, bit of filming around the town. Um, we will see what's about and whether we think it's of interest to you. Um, so, yep, hopefully you'll enjoy that and i will see you in the next video and don't forget to like subscribe it all helps it all helps to get youtube to uh put me up as recommended to hope to other people that um would like to see what i'm up to <laughs> okay so i shall see you next time au revoir Okay, we're parked up, we've just found a little bit of wall. This looks like the external wall was where the castle was. Are we there or not? We're still not sure exactly how we get in. We've missed the market, they're all just shutting down. Some of the last food trucks are still here. Well, following this, um, these couple of shots, here you can see we we did actually go through an archway which said to the old museum, and this is what we found. So we're assuming this is the old chateau. So we we'll be going inside to the, for the art now. Well, we finally um, managed to find the museum. It was getting very confusing. It turns out the museum of art and the old chateau are one basically the same place we didn't realize this this is just the uh, entrance just exp 
explaining about the uh, MANAS and what, what that stands for. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can read about that in uh, English. I'm just looking through. See now this museum is in the old chateau, which to say, which is we didn't realise at the time, and that was looking out of one of the old windows. As usual, Duncan and I have both filmed, so there's a little bit of duplicating going on, but it also gives you an opportunity to look a bit closer at some of the uh, pictures, oh, sorry, paintings and the artwork. I really enjoyed it. There's lots more of my, what I like is art. Duncan likes very, very modern art, and I'm, I like paintings and things. I think if, you, if you've been watching a while, you know I like paintings with detail. So I like to do that myself. I mean, some of them are a bit bizarre, as you sometimes get, and they even say that some of this art is what you, they call it that sort of naive art, but I wouldn't say it was naive. Some of it is just amazing. Not what we interpret as naive art, anyway. Little bizarre little things like that. That was an amazing picture, and I wish I'd looked closer at that, but I was so busy filming. I think further down the film, you've got Duncan doing a slightly longer shot on that one. This reminded me of all the paintings you can do with dots, which I, I really want to do one one day. There's lots of waffle talk going on so I muted it occasionally. Incidentally obviously I've muted quite a lot outside. The winds were so strong that day it was so loud on there so I've, I've given you some music instead. Notice there they obviously have cushions down for when the children are there reading on school visits or whatever. But again that's obviously a fireplace from inside the chateau. Mine and Duncan shot of that. I like these these uh, paintings. The one above, especially the long one. It's lovely. And that's the other shot of the football pitch that uh, Duncan took. I must admit, our language sometimes fails us a bit and you give up reading the labels because you can't always understand what it says. Is that, that market table again? That's, that's my shot, the other one was Duncan's. Bizarre, or to me anyway. <laughs> so was, we was in there quite a while, but obviously if I can't give you the whole walk around. You'd be falling asleep. But so I loved most most of it. I, I did like it very much another fireplace on the other side of the same wall in a different room. I put the text on the screen for that because that was a bit of a bizarre one but it explained what it was made from as you'll see in the text. done with sort of fabrics and things, the art. It's fascinating isn't it, the, 
the imagination of people and you think I would never have even thought of doing that yet the things that come out of these, these artists minds More doorways and windows from the chateau. But obviously back to that one again. From around the circle. <laughs> this is that that's the one that say this is Duncan's shop and this little bit of video in is showing that painting again. It might even be my shot actually, I might have got it round the wrong way. To say some of it you will get to see twice which just shows there's certain bits that we both agreed on and both liked This fascinated me. We went through into this room and then you got this huge tower from the chateau. And obviously little uh, balconies coming out from it. So it wasn't until we came out that we realised that that actually was the chateau. It was all a bit bizarre. We didn't quite get it. You could pay for a tour for three euros to see the ramparts of the old chateau. But the main chateau is now the gallery. And we didn't realise this, we had, it took a while to work that out, so we did, we missed out because we we were an hour and a half before the tour and it, we really didn't want to be hanging around and we probably wouldn't have understood most of what he said anyway, which would have been a bit of a waste, especially as we were probably going to be the, the only two touring with him that, that afternoon. deep sort of pictures there these were very clever I think there was three of them there and it's almost like a telescope's gone in and zoomed in and very clever look at the detail in those I wasn't quite sure apart from I think it's Jesus on the cross but it's made out of really bizarre things Those sort of things must take so long to make. Sorry if you can hear my breathing. <laughs> I think the trouble is I try not to breathe so you don't hear me and then the next minute I'm having to breathe and I'll pass out. <laughs> At that point I was standing there trying to think where do I, where do I go next because there was some steps to go down and a doorway to go in. It's all sort of tucked away everywhere. That's from, I say, on on the middle floor, and then looking down. This 
this was a tiny little doorway. So again, from the original old chateau. So you had to go in through there, and from there you could see out over the river. There were some of the windows. See depth of those walls as you got to go up step to the to see out of the window. The river was very brown and flowing very quickly. I think that's where we've been having these storms. This was uh, the day after Storm Eunice. As some of you may re may remember. <laughs> this is um, that was Ambrose Pare, and this was his. His kit, basically his kit for drilling through people's skulls, which I didn't know about until I researched for this. So you see the weir there and the, how the water's flowing pretty fast. That's your view across Laval. That apparently is a model of the tower, or one of the towers in at the chateau. That amazed me how they made that ceiling like that. Fascinating. Back through the little doorway again. As I say, we were actually in the tower. So I've got a feeling that model was the top of the tower that we were actually in at the time. It's a stained glass window in another part of the uh, gallery. They call it a musee, do art, but it's all quite new art, so I was a bit confused with the title. So it's a museum, museum. And that's somebody, somebody's tomb. I didn't see the name. Very ornate. When we got in this room, this French lady, she probably hadn't seen anybody all day, and she cornered Duncan and ended up talking to us both about what, what I was filming and what I was using and... She got a problem with her computer and bless him, he had to stand there and try and explain to her as best he could in French to resolve her problem. <laughs> this was a bizarre corner. It uh, had some really odd pieces in it. I don't know if it's individuals' pieces of art, but it was really strange. I couldn't quite make out what it was all about. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs for starters, what was, that was bizarre. We think it was all, we could be wrong, but we think all this, these art pieces were done by the same person. And we think, as you'll see in a minute, there's a video of a man painting. And I'm, it was sort of hinting at all of this was his work, but I could be totally wrong. Again, I'll put a link in the description when, if and when I find out who it is. So there's lots of crosses I noticed in there of different forms. That's the lady that was talking to Duncan. And we're talking about the ceiling, how beautiful it is, and it's shaped obviously like a boat. I wouldn't even think to start to do any art like that it's just to say it's people's imagination imaginations is fascinating mm -hmm. didn't quite get that either see I'm not very good at all this modern art bit I don't quite uh, understand what the ball in the saddle is about you need the artist to be standing there to explain to you sometimes don't you That was amazing, that black and white there, it was um, 3D and it was very good and perspective and everything. The depth was amazing. And I think the same person did that plane. 
Now this was very well. It was amazing how how they how they did it. I mean, it was all fabrics and threads, and it was like I don't know. I can imagine it being made from like that wire work that they work on, and then it's cloth round it, and then they've instead of using obviously plaster or something else like you'd make a statue out of, they've made it out of um, fabrics, and it was. Obviously it took a lot of work, but it was, again, to me, it was bizarre. But everybody else, knowing the work that goes into it, you can see the work that goes into it, it's probably taken a long, long time to make. But they were like, almost like animal heads and human bodies. out what the crocheted things are. I hope you're enjoying this with your cup of coffee or whatever you're having. That was just a naked man in a cage. This is all more to do with the human form human body and as it says there's like modern Didier Benestal put together this collection I'm not sure if that's the man that's in the film but you'll find out if you look in the description Some of you may look at this and you can see exactly what the, the artists are trying to get at, but I just couldn't get some of it. And this is the man who's supposed to be the owner of some of the artwork that's there. It was quite a long film, so obviously I didn't film it all. Quite a nice collection of pictures there. Considering we were going to see the chateau that didn't, well it is no more, it was quite a nice surprise to find such a nice art gallery. That was another tomb by the way, not the same one. I think this was all made out of um, stone and crystal. Now this one, I was looking at it very closely and I couldn't really make out what it was. It reminded me of when you used to have paper tape in computers. Well, I don't know, it just says patience of the hand. So I'm not totally sure. It doesn't really explain what it's about. Japanese art. This one just the thing just says without title. So I, obviously it's just a pot. <laughs> there we go Japanese again. At least I think it's Japanese. It could be Chinese. I'm, I'm terrible aren't I? And this is a kimono and paints and uh, brushes of an artist, and it's an artist as you see on the screen, Master Akaji. I like those two, they look, they look really nice. And that one. I 
Yeah, see if we come to the end now. This is all some artist about his trailer. And it was just showing how he put it together and then there it is. We went outside and it was so ridiculously windy and so loud I had to mute this piece as well. But it was so lovely to see across Laval. It was almost like a Parisian view because, you know, you just seen all the rooftops. And then this is obviously the outside wall of the old chateau. This is just a little few shots on the way back out again. Some the old town again, the fountain there. That was lovely, all those blue shutters and windows and doors. Again, nice, quiet streets. It's always like that. I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, I'll see you next time. Au revoir.